and welcome to another Japan vlog. Today's vlog is slightly different. We're actually going out in the evening. Hubby and I are going out to one of our favourite restaurants here in um, Yokohama. We're going out for Turkish food tonight and I thought I'd take you along with us. So we just travelled on the Minata Mirai line. We got on at the Minatamurai subway station and it was just two stops down to Nihonodori and now we've just arrived at the restaurant. I'll just show you. This is a Turkish restaurant, it's called the New Alibaba. Always recognise it because of the Turkish flag outside and it's a tiny little place just through this doorway. Hubby and I are actually here with our friend Chris. The restaurant's quite quiet at the moment so I'm just going to give you a 360. <laughs> It's a really nice cozy place. It's quite small and intimate. We've been here several times before. All the food is freshly made and it's made by um, the restaurant owner's wife. It's a really lovely place. Got some lanterns. And we are the only diners at the moment. But you know the camera is recording so you can stop your posing. I can see that there's a mirror there. Okay, so our starters have just arrived. Oh, I'll just introduce our friend Chris. This is Chris. So Chris is joining us for dinner and... Okay, do you want to introduce yourself? I'm, um, I don't know who I am. You don't know who you are? Irrelevant. Irrelevant and insignificant. Yeah. Shall we get the violins out? No, I'm going to have my dinner <laughs> okay. Chris and I both have the same starter, so we got the shorba soup, which is a lentil soup, and it's absolutely delicious. And we've got some Turkish bread. What do you recommend I try? And then hubby that's got... Finely, that's vine leaf stuffed, and that's um, like a pepper capsicum. That was perfect timing. I was just about to say, hubby oh. got... I'm not sure what this one is. Uh, it could be a grape leaf, actually. But that's vine leaves, that's peppers stuffed with rice, and I think that's something else stuffed with rice. Very nice. And uh, we all got some pomegranate juice. As is often the case, um, you get your food when it's ready, as opposed to, you know, you wait until everyone's finished their starters and things like that. So our main course has arrived. Um, and so Chris got gofta, which is like minced meat, like kebabs, with rice. I got this, I don't know what it's called, but it's just meat in kind of like a tomato yogurty sauce with rice. And hubby hasn't got anything. Hubby's food's just arrived and he had the Adana kebab, which is like a long mince meat oh, so kebab yeah. with um, some rice, some cabbage, and some onions, and some condiments. Right. Would you mind if I eat now, or would you like to take any more photographs? Would you like any more information on it? Yeah. Can you give us any more information? No, I'm going to go. Go on, go on. tuck in. Go. Okay, go on. Have a taste and let us know how good it is. It's very good. I'm sure. You said that without even tasting. Because I've had it before. You see, you have to have a little bit of condiment. How's that? <laughs> how was yours, Chris? Excellent. Really Excellent. Good. And mine's really good as well. It's um, it's kind of like a tomato sauce with some garlic and some peppers and some meat. But um, it's absolutely delicious. The thing that I love about Turkish food is it's not spicy as in chili hot, but it is very, very flavoursome. So um, we're going to get back to it. Just got dessert. And we've got this, which is like a Turkish rice pudding. That's what it looks like. Ooh. <laughs>
that was a lovely meal. Um, loved Turkish food. Both hubby and I are great fans of it, and um, it was really nice. Lentil soup was absolutely delicious, and I really liked my main course as well. Although I do feel a bit metered out. Hubby and I, we're not vegetarian, but we don't tend to eat a lot of meat. We probably only eat meat one or two meals a month, and it's usually when we're out and about, and usually Turkish food as well, um, just because we really like it. And um, yeah, we caught some belly dancing. <laughs> I don't know if you saw, but the, uh, the four young Japanese gentlemen that were on the table next to us, they, they, were, um, they were really into it. They were getting up and dancing with the belly dancer. Um, it was quite funny to watch them actually. With Japanese people, you have this perception and you know, they, they are generally quite reserved and that's the perception that we have of them. And um, But once those guys had a few beers in them, their personalities completely changed and became a lot more extroverted and they were really going for it with the belly dancer. So it was a good evening and obviously you saw our friend Chris and um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that vlog. Um, do give the video a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to our channel for more vlogs from Japan and I will see you next time. Have a lovely day everyone. Bye bye.